When you wake up, six o'clock in the morning, you know, the first thing I do is catch up on the news, if we're doing a show, to figure out, you know, if there are new things to talk about. Because usually you try to structure a show and it takes you two or three hours of prep to know what you're going to talk about and if it's going to fill the time. And then you try to write the description of what you're going to talk about. And sometimes you are successful and sometimes you just talk about things that you never get to. So this morning I sat down and said, oh, today's going to be a big day because I get to share one of my fun cat AI art creations, my claymation cats. And I've had these ready to go for a few days, but, you know, there are other things that have to go. And I had a cat contest that, you know, didn't go very well, but then some people joined today and so we gave them trophies. So it's all very technical. And you want to plan it out. You don't want to burn people out on too many cats. So you do you know, like one cat thing a day. <coughs> but you also don't want to be known as the cat guy. Because what fun is that? Then all people want to hear about you is, you know, what cats are you going to show us? And if you happen to skip a day and you don't have any cat stuff you're putting out there, then people complain and they come after you and say, "What? where's the cat stuff? And I think, well, I, I talk about other things and, you know, myths and theater and teaching and movies. And I don't just do cats. Yeah, but where are the cats? What, what are they? Where are they? I didn't see them today. Oh, my gosh. So it's a lot of pressure. But you bring it on yourself. I guess it's better to have, you know, people looking for stuff you create than people just not looking for you at all. Which sort of brings me to my next topic. Uh, last week, I talked about these trolls who were uh, following me and who I had to get rid of. And this morning, we had a similar experience, but a little bit different, but not really. So here are my, this is my claymation cats thing. This is on Mastodon. And if you're interested in any of this, you can go to B-O-L-E-S dot X-Y-Z as our friend Dora did and join our instance. But there are also 10,000 other instances you can join if you want to be part of the Fediverse, not the Metaverse, the Fediverse, F-E-D-I, the Federated Universe, and Beyond Mastodon. So this morning I post the cats, first thing, really. Claymation cats, paws of clay, playing off feet of clay. Their undoing is their own delightfulness in themselves. They know they are irresistible. They know how to play coy. They know you want one. They know they're carved with cuteness. They're putty in your hands. And then all of this, because people get very upset if you don't put tags on your posts so they can find them. And now I used to just put AI. and then, But then with the paper cats, AI wasn't enough. And everybody thought that I created them myself. Accusing me of doing terrible things, copying other people, plagiarism. Who do you think you are pretending to make these paper cats when they're only AI? So now I add AI heart. I add AI. I add mid-journey now because people usually, what engine are you using? You know, people don't even know what the engine is, but now more people do know the difference between a stable diffusion and a dolly and a crayon and a night cafe and a Mid journey. So these are all, and, but see, I like to write a lot, and you have 500 characters to fill or to be limited by. So I start talking, typing, and I run out of room really fast. So now I say, okay, I've got to cut myself down because I had to put at least three hashtags in there, dissolving me of any fakery that people think that I create these cats on my own. But I loved these cats. They were so fun to create. And that's why I wanted to save them for, you know, a good day, which appears to be a working day. You would think Saturday, Catter Day, is the day to put cats up. And it is sort of, late, but the best day is during the week. I guess when people are pretending to work and they're looking at cats on Ollie. I don't know. But just uh, posting these cats... And if you remember the claymation 
raisins. Or people who know my age know exactly what these are, and people who don't know, it doesn't matter because they're fun and cute cats. Okay, so I push that up there, and I know it's going to be very successful, get a lot of likes and retweets and all of that because they're very cute, and I know what my audience likes. My bat cat did not do well, which surprised me. But maybe I stepped on it because I that was a day where there was a lot going on and I was posting a lot and I think people kind of got lost in the fog of what I was doing. My fault. Now I've learned you're going to post something, wait an hour, let it propagate. So it's not instantaneous. People on your instance see it, your work instantaneously. But when you publish it to the Fediverse, depending on where people are in the world and what time they get up, it can take, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes for it to kind of get out there for all people to see. And so you do start timing it. So I put this up and, you know, got a couple, you know, early likes and boosts. And then, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes later, bing, 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 bing. Better. Okay. So it's good. So, so far, you can see right down here, it has 32 favorites and 19 boosts. Now, our paper cats are like 2,000, 2,000, which is just ridiculous. It's still going on. I can't do anything about it. I'm not going to go in there and edit it because it's already been out there for, you know, like a week. So I was very happy with this claymation arts. And then... And then... A person with whom I had been lightly interacting with, maybe over the last week or so. And I would, you know, be friendly. I don't know who this person is. I don't know what they are. I have given this person extra cats if I have them, which is always sort of fun. Several times. Album art, several times. That kind of thing, all right? So I think... I had the feeling this person was very friendly to me. And this person was very engaging to engage with and likes to kid around a lot, which is fine. I love to kid around. I love to be sarcastic. I love to poke at people. Just ask my wife. Meow. Hey, it's artist Dora. I know no one responded to my art VSS submission. Should I create another count, another instance? I'm so confused with instances. It's completely and totally up to you. But it's a new experience. You have to go out there and you have to, you know, work on things. But when you come into a conversation that other people are having and you change the conversation to be about you, that, especially on Mastodon, wherever you go, uh, turns people off. So that's something to be very careful about. It's not Twitter, where you can just kind of barge in and say whatever you ever want to say and leave. Mastodon is very formal, as I'm going to tell you right now. It's very formal, a lot of rules, and you have to learn how to kind of get along in it. So this person, who I've interacted with in the past, responds to my claymation cat thing. And this person says, are you sub tooting me. Okay, a toot is what they call it on Mastodon, not a tweet or a post. The old timers call it a toot, which I guess is like an old joke where some comedian gave the developers early on of Mastodon a lot of money saying, but you know, the button to publish has to say toot instead of publish. And because the people who invented Mastodon are German, they didn't really have a lot of deep understanding of English, didn't know that toot was sort of a thing about farts. And they said if we had known then what we knew now, we would not have accepted the money and allowed that person, that comedian, American comedian, to call our posts publishing Toots. So they've now changed that. It's, it's no longer a toot, it's just a post. But they're old timers who so use toots. So, 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 so why are you subtooting me? And, you know, that's, I thought, wait a minute, I thought I knew this person, this was a friendly person. But you don't know who you're talking to on the internet. You don't know really what's going on. The old joke for 15 years has been. <sighs> Nobody on the internet knows you're a dog. So I have no idea really who this person is, except who this person presents themselves to be historically with me. 
Now, substituting is not a nice thing. It's like, you know, someone's up here talking and you're behind their back talking about them. That's what that means. And it's not friendly and it's not a joke. And with my beloved claymation cats, I was being accused of something. So I said, uh, okay, I don't really understand what you're talking about. And I didn't, because I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about my cats. So this person then responds and says, oh, 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 you, 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 um, uh, you, you're, and, th and then this person quoted this part of my Post back to me, irresistible, know how to play coy, you know you want one, and you're carved with cuteness, okay? Quoted that back and said something like it's like from my bio. So, okay, so I've been accused of sub tooting, and now I've been pretty much right in the open on the Fediverse, where everyone can read it, of somehow plagiarizing, imitating this person's masto bio. And I think, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. So I go to that person's page and I look and I read the toots. There's nothing there. I read the bio. The bio is vague. Talking about accessibility, and so I'm thinking there's nothing about being cute and irresistible and how you want one. And I'm thinking, what is this person messing with me? Is this person trying to embarrass me on my claymation cats thing that I've been holding for a year? Hey, artist door says wowza, and they say cray cray. Yeah. So then I said, okay, well, you know, I had no idea what she was talking about. I already told her I didn't know what, what, what was being talked about. So I said, well, okay, I'll be, I'll be careful next time. What am I going to say? I don't know what you're talking about. And then this person replied and said, I'm just busting your chops. And I thought, oh. So for four or five, you know, messages going back and forth, this person has been messing with me. I don't want to be messed with on stuff that I work on. And these cats take a little bit of time to create. I'm putting it out there for celebrating. And when you get that kind of weird conversation going into a thread about cats or whatever, it puts a whole chill on it because nobody wants to join a conversation like that because it's weird. And Mastodon has a lot of European and international people and their first language is not always English. So this post that I worked on about my cats has been chilled by this person who was messing with me. Now, I don't like people who mess with other people. I'm, I'm really very much against that. I hate April Fool's Day. I hate Candid Camera. I hate the magician show uh, uh, with that kid who you know makes fun of people. I hate the Impractical Joker show. Because all these shows, the butt of everybody's joke in all of these situations is nice people. Good people don't get put on those shows. Bad people don't get put on those shows because they tell people to F off, they punch people, they run away, they threaten. Now, the good sports are the nice people who are willing to help, willing to hold a bag, willing to be made fun of because they think in this scenario that this person's a magician, this person's a car mechanic, this person is doing an interview that's serious. And then at the end of the day, all the joke's on you. You're a big fool. You stopped and gave me your time and your attention, and there you go. It's all a big joke. I'm just busting your chops.
Now, busting your chops is okay if you know somebody. Like, you know, Dora and I go back and forth sometimes. My new friend Marley Bits, who was on this show one time. I mean, if we go back and forth and kid each other, okay, because we've talked about a variety of things. We've talked about heavy things. We've talked about light things. We've joked. We made fun. And they're not going to mess with my thread. But when you're on, you know, these services, anybody can punch in, as they say, and say something and then, you know, leave or give you a hard time for three or four messages and make a big joke out of it. Dora loves a good joke. Yeah. But when you don't know people and you have really no relationship with them, no context other than, you know, one or two hellos on the Fediverse, and you think this is a friendly person, I, you know, I, I guess your defenses are down and, you know, they're, I guess, accusing you of things you didn't do, but they're, you know, accusing you, you find out later, in a bust your chop sort of way. And then, you know, those people, the first thing they say is, you know, oh, practical joke, oh, joking on you, oh, bust your chops, ha, 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 ha. And, you know, you're not laughing with them or smiling with them. First thing they say is, oh, you're a poor sport. And I'm not a poor sport. Other people are not a poor sport. You're just a mean person. Dora agrees 100%. So like you say, you need to be careful. Yeah, you have to be careful. So what I did, after them, I bust your chops, I blocked that person. Because I thought, why are you messing with me? I don't know you. I don't want that kind of energy and meanness in my life, and especially not on the Fediverse, Mastodon, where I'm there to sort of have fun and meet new people. I don't want to be hanging out with someone who's trying to bust my chops in my claymation cats article. In other news, 